You are watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what's new in the world of cosmetic dentistry? With us, we have well-known cosmetic dentist, Dr. Don Brown. Dr. Brown, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Nice to be here. Now, before we get into today's topic, uh, tell us a little bit about your practice in Colorado. Oh, Randy, it's a, it's a wonderful practice. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a general practice. We treat uh, all ages and all the patients, but it uh, definitely has a slant on cosmetics. Everything we do looks beautiful. That's... You know, we want to do good dentistry first, and we want to make it absolutely beautiful. Okay. Now, we tape our show in California, right. and we've had you on the program, right. and you're a big name. I mean, people that don't know you, I mean, in the world of cosmetic dentistry, I mean, celebrities. Uh, in, in fact, uh, one in particular, one of the biggest celebrities in the world, everybody knows who this person is, goes to you or went to you to fix right. their smile. And uh, But you have a big following. Uh, Thank you. And, and mostly cosmetic or a little bit of both? I think the cosmetic gets people in, but they see what we can do, the restorative aspects. I mean, really, people, everyone, I think, wants to look as good as they can look. But, you know, you want to be able to eat and laugh and chew and, and, and just not know your teeth are there, and you also want them to look beautiful at the same time. Why fix teeth? I mean, if I was a patient, why would I want to go to someone and fix teeth if it didn't look good? I so mean, you still do fillings and things like absolutely. that? Absolutely. I mean, you do everything in your practice? Absolutely. I think uh, sometimes when you see a younger person and you do a filling and you have do a big cavity and you just do them a great service by, here's a 12-year-old, and you just do them a great service. And that tooth can look natural. It doesn't have to look bad. Now, you brought a stack of photos, and, and if yes. anybody's tuning in, they've got to see these photos because these are, I mean, these are dramatic photos, huge differences. They really are. Because we, we've talked on the phone, and you say that, you know, teeth can make a huge difference, and, uh, and it's clear here in these photos. But beforehand, let's talk about your training Okay. Uh, after dental school, because you're, some would say, a fanatic about, uh, about Continuing learning. Continuing education. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, any responsible dentist should, needs to be con consistently going to dental meetings, listening to the people who are the best. What kind of people are coming in uh, for cosmetic dentistry? I mean, well, mostly yeah. wealthy people, I yeah. guess? Well. It's certainly a cross-section. I mean, um, you may have a nurse's aide come in. You may have a rancher come in. You may have Ranchers a, are getting this done. The answer is yes to that. Um, I think people come to the dentist, and these folks don't know what you can do for them. So they come in with a problem. We want to look at the entire mouth and be sure everyone's healthy, everything's healthy. And uh, it's our job to really tell people what kind of options that they have. Now you say that some people, uh, you change their smile, improve their smile. Right. And it changes their lives, that they give you credit for changing their lives. I mean, that really happens? It really does. And it happens on a regular basis. Uh, I'm going to show you this example here, Jan. Wow, that before picture. What's going I mean, that can't be that common to see well, teeth like that. Well, it is common. Um, I think that people, I think, uh, as you know, really, I believe that people are embarrassed. And so if you meet someone and they don't smile, is it because they're not happy to see you? Is, are they embarrassed about their teeth? Uh, I see pe people just their faces light up. I mean, they light up. They'll light up the day they leave because we our temporaries are so beautiful. I think if you look at these photos. So uh, when you see that before photo, in your mind you say, "Oh boy, I know what I can do here." I know exactly what I could do to make her look good. In this particular case, this patient needed a root canal. She needed other dentistry in addition to just the cosmetics. So it was a it was very important to combine the two as we spoke before. The restorative aspect. Again, you want to make it look beautiful. And uh, I think in the middle, if you look at this, this photo, this wow. was her after three hours, Randy. That's how she left. And when I showed her a mirror, she, her tears rolled out of her eyes. It, it was that dramatic. Let's take a look at this. So we put the before and after with the face. I mean, completely different person. It was just as exciting. So she had process. dental problems. Exactly. You fix those first, Absolutely. then you do the veneers. There was infections. There was all kinds of things going on. So we don't, it's not one or the other. It's both. And I think it's important to note that uh, she has a very healthy and a beautiful smile. And it's going to stay that way for a long time. Now, before the taping, I always say I could spot huh. veneers walking into a room or 20 yards away. And you said, not mine. And, and I think if you well, saw this woman walking down the street, you wouldn't say, you know, she had veneers. No, those teeth are, are those are the correct proportions and dimensions. They fit her face. They fit her lip line. Randy, let me show you another case. This is okay. one of my favorite cases. Uh, Carol came in to see us, and she, she's a very attractive lady, as you can see, and uh, her teeth were healthy. She just wanted a prettier smile. It was time. She had, as you notice, four veneers there that were discolored, and the rest of her teeth were very discolored. So in the middle picture, I think you'll see her temporary. So it's nice to see, I think, for patients who are, are people that are thinking about doing this type of work, they'd like to see how they're going to look when they leave the office the first day. So before they actually get the veneers, you put on some temporaries. Correct. I mean, what's the purpose there? So they're, they're not the veneers. Well, the, the, temp, 
the temp razor for several purposes. We first off, we get to ch we get a chance to try this in her mouth and see how she likes it. It's a very personal thing. If the dental uh, the bite and those things are correct in my mind, then it really is the patients. They, they're going to look at this and say, how do I like the way they look? Does this one need to be rounded? Is this too long, too short? Do I have any speech problems? I mean, the, we are going to copy this exactly for the permanent restoration. So this is a, an opportunity for that patient to really wear them and test them out. Because that I mean, seems like the fear of not knowing what they're going to look like. Because absolutely. I guess people don't want that big, bulky look. Absolutely. I think they see people and say, oh, you know, they'll see people that had crowns, and they don't want that because they're obvious. They know their crowns. The, what about the that whole gray purpose? line around the edge? My uh, sister even uh, said that. Well, I don't want that because of the gray line. That's a good question. And, and it's generally the materials, and it's generally in some cases the, the patient ages and the gums recede and show things. Those are not necessary. Those can be totally eliminated. All right. Okay. So let me show you Shirley. Shirley was a um, patient that had enormous amount of issues with her tooth. So we've talked about some cases here that are cosmetic. Um, this one is cosmetic because we made it cosmetic, but the reason she was in because of a severe functional problem, she had some cavities and she had some bite issues. I don't have to tell you. You can look at that picture without being wow. specific and say that, that bite's a mess. And this is how she came in. Um, so you have to clean up the cavities and things like that and the bite all of problems. It. All of it. And uh, in these two pictures, you're going to see, uh, we, could, we could probably spend an hour talking about this case right here. You're proud of these pictures, by well, the way. They, they are, they are wow, it's a, a lot difference. of hard work. And uh, you look at the woman, look at the difference in three weeks. That took three weeks to get from one picture to the other. If you hold those side by side, three weeks. Look at the hair. And she it, looks younger. Oh, she looks way younger. I, I think the thing that I get so excited about this type of case, Randy, is that this is, we talk about it. It's restorative dentistry, it's serious dentistry, but it looks beautiful. I mean, why do one without the other? Interesting. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand why. But you're also a perfectionist. I mean, I spoke to your wife. Well, that's a She second. said, uh, Don is a perfectionist. Do you see yourself that way? Yes. Uh, I, can find a, I can find a fault with every single case. Um, there's never a perfect case in my head. I never stop thinking about it. So it's just one of those things I think is a good thing. It makes you work harder and get better. All and, right. Uh, let me show you a case here that I'm, uh, I love this particular patient. She happens to be my daughter-in-law. Okay. And, uh, and for her mind, she, she was getting married, and we wanted to do some, uh, she wanted to do some veneers and improve her smile. I think if you look at this, these before pictures, you're going to notice some discoloration, some wear. If you could see the backside of her teeth, you'd see from clenching. She had some issues, and, and we had to protect her against herself. But look at look at these progression of pictures. Look at her wedding picture. Wow. Uh, now that middle picture was Beautiful. taken uh, just before a hike, and so I didn't really get the photos I wanted. But you can see the veneers, and then a couple of months later, she got married, and we got those pictures. So I guess I, in, the, in the before picture, also her two front teeth. I'm trying to look at these with a critical eye. Were a little flat because she had a nice smile before. So you whitened them up. You know, if you look real carefully, I think you're going to see the, how dark this one tooth is. That wasn't going to get brighter. If we had bleached her teeth, this would have bleached much brighter than that. The discrepancy would have been even worse. But again, you can't see. We talk about functional or, or serious dentistry. What are we doing for this person's teeth other than cosmetics? And if you could look at the inside, you'd see the facets where she was clenching and grinding her teeth. So you could fix that. I mean, somebody that's clenching Absolutely. and grinding. No, I don't, you can't really stop them from clenching, but what you can do is, is minimize the damage that they're creating in their own mouth through that clenching. All right. Okay. Now this is a young patient. Are the patients yes. getting younger and younger for veneers, or are they getting older and older? Well, I think I think veneer. You talk about what's new in dentistry. The materials are so improving so rapidly that we can use it on these young people. You know, young people have great big nerves in their teeth. You have to be extremely careful with these teeth. Uh, we can do so much for young people. I'm going to show you some cases here shortly. Uh, the orthodontic case and some young people and how we were able to correct their problems very safely for them, very beautifully. So we'll get to those shortly. What are the upper end? Uh, ages that people are coming in for porcelain veneers. And well, I've got some smiles. patients. I think uh, we showed Shirley before. She's in her 70s. I've treated people as uh, perhaps mid 80s. I think it's all a question of um, just personal taste. You know, it's really interesting to see a person that age that still really wants to look good and feel good and they're youthful and they're active. Because uh, 70 is young today. I mean, where it, you live, people take great care of themselves. They're very active. Very fit. Age is no barrier to this at all. But if you're not happy with your smile, that's your message? I think At if least you're not look happy into with it. your smile or you're having other dental problems. Like I say, you, you, we, we fix the dental problems, but we make it look good. So I think either one of those things that someone on somebody's mind, I think they owe it to themselves at least to get some answers.